So guys, welcome back to the channel. In a different location this time, so you might hear some little background noise, so don't mind that. But anyway, the Be Well electronic heating pad. I got this at five below. It was for $15, you see the price tag right here. The little one's a little uh, faded out. I had it for a while, probably for a few months now. Now I'm gonna tell you the reason why I bought it. Actually, no, I'll tell you after that. <laughs> Let's talk about specs. It has nine heating settings. It has a auto shut off, so you have the ability to put it on 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, or 120. Um, nine heating settings. Obviously, you have to test them out on your own to make sure that they're good, each one. What I will say is the reason I purchased this wasn't for human consumption. It was for, uh, we had a newborn kitten. Well, not a newborn. It was about a week old or so. And her, my wife found it. Her mother found it, brought it to us. My wife really wanted the kitten. And we wanted to keep it and make sure it was alive, it was shivering, you know, all that horrible stuff. So we figured that a heating pad was the best thing to buy. Now we did wrap it, of course, in a blanket to make sure that the, that the uh, cat wouldn't be burned or anything like that. And it worked wonders. His temperature rose and it was just, thank God, he survived. Now he's much older now. But if you thought a thumbnail already, you already know that that's the kitten. Uh, he's older now and he's actually doing very, very well. But with that being said, I have the heating pad back finally, and uh, he doesn't need it anymore, so it's time to review it. With that being said, let's get right into it, not waste any time. Timestamps will be in the description. Alrighty guys, so first things first, since I already used it, it's no longer in its original packaging, so I'm just gonna slide this back right here, and I'm gonna show you the heating pad. This is how this bad boy looks right here. Now, um, it is much longer than the, uh, the box itself, so if you look, this is the box. It's about double the size of the box. I, I can't give you the exact dimensions. Actually, let me look on the side, see if I can give it to you. Oh, it says size is 23 inches, uh, 23 by 12 by 5 inches. So here it is right here. This is the size of it. So I do apologize. I don't have a ruler or anything to give you a size comparison, but it is pretty big, as you can see. It's actually, here we go. If I can fit the whole thing in the video, here we go. <laughs> it's very nice. I love the padding of it. And of course, if you have a, uh, you're probably using it on this side, the way it's set up. Let me flip this around. Here we are. Here we go. So. This is how it looks. Actually, you know what? I'm starting to think it's supposed to be the other way. I actually forget. Let me flip it the other way. <laughs> it's all over the place. I apologize. Actually, yeah, it's probably this way because the actual tag is right here. And here is the handle. So when you plug it into the wall, it's not one of those charges that uses USB. You actually plug this directly into the wall, which I'm about to do right now for you guys. So just bear with me. Bear with me. As a matter of fact, I probably won't need a timestamp because after this part, I'll end the video. So once I plug this bad boy in, here we are. Uh, you have your power button right here. You have the intensity levels. So I want to show you. You hit the power button. It is on right now, and it looks like it's on the... Okay. So number one, it's just two hours right here. Let me see if I can change that. Here we are. So hour and a half, hour half an hour, two hours. So those are the four settings that we're talking about. 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes. So this is how you change the timer of when this thing automatically shuts off. Now right now, it's currently on. Uh, as soon as you press the power button, the heat comes on immediately. Now, if I press it one more time, it's automatically off. As long as you don't see anything on the screen, the heating pad will be off. You will have to wait for the heat to dissipate over time because it takes a few minutes or so because depending on the intensity. But anyway, let me show you. So right here, let me go to one. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now naturally, I can't actually show you the intensity levels, but let me just say that if you're a person and you have some type of aches and pains and sores, this does do a very good job of doing that. Reason being is that my wife, uh, her back hurts from time to time. Uh, especially the way she sits in chairs and whatnot. So we always have a heating pad. And I, was, I, I, I told myself, I was like, listen, I'm tired of you buying these cheap heating pads that you find on Amazon. I bought this one. It worked great. I used it for her first, initially. We used it on our own flesh and skin to see how warm it got. 
And because cats have claws and, you know, they're kneading or whatever that kneading, whatever that's called, we didn't want the, the cat's skin. It's actually getting very warm right now. But we didn't want the cat, cat's skin to actually touch this pad because we weren't sure what was going to happen, whether it be an allergic reaction or whatever it is. I never had a cat that young. So after talking to a bunch of vets and speaking to uh, YouTube, not YouTube, uh, what's it called? Facebook and different things. We got different opinions, professional opinions. We decided to like wrap this into like a blanket. We had a Kirby blanket actually, we also got from Five Below. And we wrapped it up real nicely, put it inside this nice square tote and um, put the cat inside with his toys and different things. So as he kept getting older, it was easier for him to learn how to climb because he had his little toys next to him. Eventually, he got his voice. And, and it was a turbulent time because for like the first week or two, he wasn't meowing. Like he, like he would make the noise. You could tell that he's trying to respond, but there was like no voice. So we thought something was wrong. And then a vet just said his voice was strained because, again, we found him outside uh, in a rain. Well, his, her, her mom found him. And he wasn't even meowing when we got him. So we just wanted to make sure he was okay. And again, we didn't realize that you had to kind of stimulate his prostate area and for him to use the bathroom and the anus area. It Listen, <laughs> sleepless nights, waking up every hour. It, it, it says we were supposed to feed him every two hours, but in reality, we were up for like every hour. If not, we were taking turns being up, just watching him on the side. Cause you know, it's, it's a fresh life. You never know. And outside of that, it was rewarding because now he's with us all the time. He's running back and forth and all that good stuff. I'm sorry. I didn't even notice that this thing actually tilted. But everything worked out in the end. And I just wanted to show you this product. It, it really did a good job. And the reason why I suggest buying this is because we didn't get a defective one. Sometimes when you go to Five Below or different places, you find defective products. And you're just like, ah, shit. ass out of luck. Excuse my language. But this particular one really did the job very, very well. Um, it saved his life, to be honest. And, and, and I'm thankful for that, that, that they had this at the time because we really didn't want to wait for Amazon to give us a heating pad. This was the best result. It did the job. And I'm repeating myself, but I just can't iterate enough how, how happy I was at the performance that this had. Now, granted, this is on nine right now. And when you use this, uh, unfortunately, there's no timer to let you know to count down. Just know that if it's on two hours... From the moment you hit power, it's counting down and then it'll shut off on its own automatically. Now, we did put it on a two hour timer with the kitten, though we would use it on, uh, when you first started, we would put it on like maybe three to be safe. And then or obviously the heat was on inside the house and all that, but body heat is a little bit different for kittens. And then eventually when he was able to walk around and do things on his own, then like not necessarily climb but walk slowly his little butt wiggling he was falling over we increased it to four maximum of five but it was still wrapped up in the blanket the entire time so that it would never have skin to skin contact but the blanket was warm and you know that worked out for him and unfortunately he loves blankets now <laughs> because of what we did we created a monster but anyway it's a pretty good i love it you know i cleaned it off and everything wiped it down it was never dirty in the first place but we wiped it down I ended up using this on my wife's back whenever she needs it, because I did mention that earlier, but originally it was meant for the cat. And um, for anyone wondering, that's what we used it for. Anyway, like and subscribe. Hopefully you guys like that story. Um, I'll probably put some pictures. I actually have a secondary channel. I'm not going to tell you what it's called, because it's, it's, it's a raunchy channel. It's not for kids or anything like that. And we have the little videos of Kirby on there as shorts showing some of his progress so I'm, I'm probably going to post some of that on this channel for anyone actually interested in seeing how little kirby is doing which we ended up changing the name to uh originally it was it was simba but we changed it to kirby and then we found out that we had a girl kitten so we now we have three girl cats we thought it was a boy at first but the little testes never grew in <laughs> so you know needless to say we figured out the sex of the cat anyway i will see you guys in the next video till then take care be safe and uh that's about it